Hello guys and welcome to another calculus video. In this video we are going to be taking on this awesome problem right here using Lobachevsky's integral formula. I got this problem from the Art of Problem Solving uh, forums on the internet so uh, yeah let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first of all we're going to discuss Lobachevsky's integral formula and we're going to use this nice identity right here for the uh, cotangent of x. So Lobachevsky's integral formula states that if f of pi plus minus x is f of x, which means that f is pi periodic and also uh, symmetric going from x to pi and going from pi to x, or from 0 to pi and pi to 0, I should say, uh, then the integral from 0 to infinity of f of x sine x over x dx is the same as the integral from 0 to infinity of f of x sine squared of x over x squared dx, which is the same as the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of f of x dx. Now we're really concerned about the second half here. We don't really care about the relationship with f of x sine of x since that's, this is just what really applies to our problem a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and prove this first of all. First of all, we also we know that f of, f of x is even since f of x pi plus x equals f of pi minus x, which means that f of x equals f of minus x. And so this means we can rewrite this as i equals the integral from 0 to infinity of sine squared x over x squared f of x dx, or 1 half the integral from negative infinity to infinity of the same integrand. So what we're going to do is split this up into infinitely many um, intervals of length pi starting at 0. So we're going to have negative pi to 0, 0 to pi, pi to 2 pi, over and over and over again. And so we can rewrite this as the sum from n equals negative infinity to infinity of n pi to n plus 1 pi. Uh, this is the bounds of the integral of the same function. Then we're going to do u equals x minus n pi. And once we do this, this will shift this whole integrand onto 0 comma pi. So for it, we're now going from 0 to pi. And this sine squared of u is going to remain sine squared of u and not sine squared of u plus n pi just because uh, sine squared of x is pi periodic. And f of f of x is also pi periodic, so these stay the same. And this means that we can actually just factor this out, or actually bring the summation inside of the integral right here. So we have sine squared of u times f of u times this infinite summation. However, to evaluate this infinite summation, we're just going to take that expression that we had from before, the, the sum from negative infinity to infinity of 1 over u plus n pi is caught u. This tells us that the sum from negative infinity to infinity of 1 over u plus n pi squared is cosecant squared of u. And so we can go ahead and sub this in, and this sine squared of u and cos cosecant squared of u end up canceling, and we just get the integral from 0 to pi of f of u du. And because of the properties of f of u that we derived before, this is just the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of f of u du. So let's go back to our original problem here. We need to get this into the form uh, that we uh, the form for, to use Lobachevsky's formula. So we're going to go ahead and take this right here. And notice that we're going to go ahead and plug in, or we're going to multiply and divide by sine squared of x so that we can have this sine squared of x over x squared outside. And then we're going to apply f of x plus minus pi equals f of x. So this function satisfies those criteria. So we can go ahead and apply Lobachevsky's formula, which means we're really going to be concerned with the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln 1 plus a sine squared of x minus ln 1 plus b sine squared of x times cosine squared of x over sine squared of x. Now notice that this is actually just ln 1 plus v sine squared of x evaluated at v equals a and v equals b, which means that we can rewrite this as an integral in v. Then once we do that, the sine squared will cancel because of the chain rule and we'll end up with this expression. We're going to go ahead and interchange the order of integration, which is totally okay because we have a fully finite integrand here uh, as long as b and a are greater than zero. So that is a restriction that we have to place on this integral. So we go ahead and uh, flip those and then we multiply by secant to the fourth, which allows us to substitute u equals tangent x. And we end up with this nice rational integral, which goes from zero to infinity. And this is pretty straightforward to evaluate. We just go ahead and do partial fractions, which I'll go ahead and skip. Or actually, I, I did the math here as well. So here are our values for a and b. And we get 1, one, plus, one plus 1 over v here and minus 1 over v over here. Then we go ahead and integrate those. And we end up with pi over 2 times the integral from b to a of 1 over square root 1 plus b plus 1 over v square root 1 plus v minus 1 over v dv. Integrating this is pretty straightforward. 
to deal with this term right here after u equals square root v plus 1 this becomes a relatively simple uh, integral which ends up giving us the inverse hyperbolic cotangent function and note that usually you'd see inverse hyperbolic tangent here but whenever we do uh, integrals we're going to use inverse hyperbolic tangent when the input of the inverse hyperbolic tangent is between negative 1 and 1 and we're going to use the cotangent instead um, otherwise because that's just the different domains of the functions so then we can go ahead and plug in the values here and we end up getting that our integral is going to be pi times root a plus 1 minus root b plus 1 plus natural log 1 plus root b plus 1 over 1 plus a root a plus 1 which is I think a pretty nice result for a pretty nice integral so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the method shown if you want to see more content like this please let me know if you have any other suggestions you can throw them down in the comments or you can join my discord where I'm happy to talk with any of you thanks for watching and I'll see you next time